Hi everyone, and welcome to the next video in the Additive Build Extension series. The previous video covered creating a setup and creating and assigning body specific print settings for metal powder bed fusion manufacture. This video will cover orientation and support. Support structures are used to support the model and help to dissipate heat during the build process. These impellers have been designed to be built in this flat orientation with the generatively designed arms bridging the blades to the central hub, not needing any support. To orient and position the bodies on the build platform, navigate to the position toolbar group. Here, there are multiple options for the orienting and positioning the impellers on the build platform. The place parts on platform tool allows us to either select a whole body or a specific face for orientation. We can also define a platform clearance. Once the impellers are correctly positioned and oriented, the next step is to generate support. Navigate to the supports toolbar group where there is a range of support options available. In this case, select volume support. With the volume support dialog open, pick the faces of the impellers that you wish to be supported. For this build, we will leave the rest of the general tab as default since the settings are appropriate for our build. In the Volume Properties tab, select the Thickening Up Structures checkbox and change Main Structure, Top Connections and Bottom Connections to 0.4mm. This creates a stronger support structure to anchor the impeller down to counteract the thermal stresses generated during the build and allows more heat to dissipate from the part into the build platform. Leave the raster and contour tab as default. In the connections tab, change all the support connection options to strip. This creates a strong connection between the support structure and the part. Since these supported faces will be machined, the quality of these faces after support removal is not important. Clicking OK will generate the supports. Great, that is all in this video. The next video will cover generating and simulating the toolpath and exporting the build file.